Can the fossil record reveal clues as to our origin? Did all animals evolve from lower creatures? And what is stasis? Find out on Wonders Without Number. Stasis is what we see in the fossil record. That basically means when we look at the bottom, we see an animal, the bones of course, what's left of it. Uh -oh. Sometimes we see impressions, okay. like trilobites, and then when we look at the top, yeah. we see the same thing. I've done a lot of work on this and we see consistently over and over and over stasis. Wow. In fact, there are very few even plausible examples of evolution in the fossil record. Hmm. Best example is a turtle. Okay. Turtles, of course, have a shell which preserves well in the fossil record, mm -hmm. but the first turtle is clearly a turtle. Turtle, And they found no evidence of its evolution, its shell, easy to determine in the fossil record. Huh. And I try to take animals that are unique. Yeah. A skunk yeah. is unique and has a unique system, which means the bones have to be designed around the spray system, okay. and therefore you can tell the fossil if it was a skunk or if it was evolving into a skunk. Hmm. And I've looked at about 200 different examples. In every single case, I find the first skunk is a skunk. My favorite is a platypus, uh, a duckbill platypus. Uh -huh. When this was first discovered and brought to England, the zoologists were sure this was an expert job of sewing animal parts together by a taxidermist. Okay. And they said, well, whoever did this did a really good job. Right. Unfortunately, the first few didn't survive, and so finally they brought some over that survived, and they just couldn't figure out what it was. Hmm. It said this was put together by a committee. <laughs> and they all got their way. It's gotta have this, gotta yeah. have that. Yeah. Okay, we'll we'll put all this stuff together and this is what we'll get.